Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSERV Education. This tutorial introduces you to shadows, sun settings and solar study in Revit. We can specify sun settings for solar studies, walkthroughs and rendered images either by using the sun settings dialog box or by using the sun paths on screen controls. Let's review the different elements in elevation. Go to quick access toolbar and select 3D view. Then click on front from the view cube. Once we're in the front view, go to properties palette and click on edit from graphic display option. The graphic display options dialog box opens. Here we can see different options that are available. Shift the dialog box to this corner a bit so we can see the changes happening simultaneously. Now click on shadows to expand it. Here two options are available. Check the cast shadows checkbox and then click on apply. We can see the shadow has been cast on the building. Then click on show ambient shadows checkbox and click apply once again. Now we can see that the view has some grading and the shadow is not as crisp as before. Now expand the lighting and here we can see the lighting parameters. Click OK when done. Now go to view control bar and here we have an option to either switch the shadow on or off by clicking on the shadow toggle. Let's leave the shadow on for now. Then click on sun path button from the bar and select sun settings from the list. The sun settings dialog box opens. Here three categories are available and under solar study the lighting radio button is selected by default. The settings and preset options changes according to the solar study selected. Now let's review from the top. Click on still radio button. This shows us the shadow cast at that particular time of the day in the view selected. Here by default in session still is selected as our preset and other defined presets are available. The existing presets cannot be deleted but can be altered accordingly and we can add new presets. Select fall equinox from the list and then click apply. We can see the changes in the view. Now let's create a new preset. Go back to in session still preset. Then under settings we can see that the location is set as Boston MA. The date is set to June 1st 2010 and the time as 10 am. These define the sun position at that instance in the view. At the bottom the ground plane at level checkbox has been checked and is set at level 1. This shows the level on the shadow is being cast. Now let's change some values. Click on the location browse button. The location weather and site dialog box opens. Here the location map is available. One way of changing the location is by changing the position of the pointer and the other is by defining the location. So let's define a location for now. Click on define locations by drop down and then select default city list from the list and select New Delhi India from the city list. We can also type in the latitude and longitude. Click OK when done. Then change the date to September 1st 2014. and time to 11 am and check the used shared settings checkbox. Then click on save settings and name dialog box opens. Change the name to Delhi summer and then click ok. The new preset has been added to the list. Click apply when done. We can see that the shadow orientation changes. Now select single day from the solar study list. This shows us the sun orientation at a specific time in a specified period of time and how the shadows change accordingly. We can also change the time intervals for the sun orientation. Now the setting will have the same city we had set before in the previous one. 
change the date to 1st September 2014. Then click on Sunrise to Sunset checkbox. This automatically shows the timing of sunrise and sunset as per our city. Then change the time interval to 30 minutes. This shows that the sun will change its position in every 30 minutes. Click OK when done. We will see that the shadows have been changed. Now go to view control bar and click on sun path and select the sun path on and then click on it once again and then select preview solar study. Zoom out a bit and here we can see the sun path. Then go to options bar and we can see there are buttons available to change the sun orientation. The selected frame at the moment is 1. Click on next frame button and we can see that the sun orientation is changed by half an hour as per the specified time interval and the shadow orientation has also changed along with it. Then click on play button and we can see the animated movement of the sun is set time intervals. Now go back to sun settings dialog box and select multi day. This allows us to track the sun movement for a specified time period spanning days or months or even years. Here two dates have been specified. Let's change the first date to 1st September 2014 and the second date to 5th September 2014. Check the sunrise to sunset checkbox and keep the time interval as 1 hour only. Click OK when done. Then. Click on play button in the options bar. This time we can see the sun orientation of 5 days. Now finally select lighting from solar study. With lighting settings we can create our own settings that cannot be obtained from other solar study options. Under settings we can see two options of azimuth and altitude. The azimuth is the angular distance of the sun from the north going towards the east side and altitude shows as the vertical angle between the sun and the horizon. Now let's change the azimuth angle to 210 degrees and the altitude angle to 30 degrees. Click OK when done. The changes can be seen. Thus with different settings and changes in the sun orientation we can play with the shadows and we can also create an animated sun movement for any given day or specified time period.